enjoy the sun. It's just, it's wonderful. The sun is beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna write a poem for the sun, okay? Hi guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today is a sunny day, it's beautiful outside and the weather is so gorgeous. And I'm telling you, spring is upon us and I could not be more excited. Uh, I'm, I feel like a kid in the candy store. So the sun to me is, is what it is. It makes me happy, it, it puts me in a good mood. I mean, it can be cold outside, but if the sun is out, there sure is a difference. So as per usual, I'm gonna start with a sunscreen. I'm gonna use the Flex from Color Science. It's in color light. I'm gonna shake it up real quick. I did shook it up before, but doesn't hurt to shake it again. Um, and I'm gonna just apply it on my face. It comes in like a light way, as you can see, but the pigment is suspended in like little, um, balls, I guess. Yeah, I know it does look a little weird when I put it on. It's because it's white and you can see like a mask, but it adjusts to your face color. Um, to a certain point, it's not gonna be, oh my gosh, that looks scary. <laughs> like a ghost. I'll be getting the process of your nose. And I like to go right underneath my chin. Um, because this one is pigmented, I'm definitely not going to bring it down my neck. I, I, I just don't like the way it reacts during, during the day because it's gonna put a bunch of color on clothes and catch on things and I just, I can't. So for, for my neck and for my body, um, I'll just use a body one. For my neck, for my chest, whatever is exposed, I'll just use a body sunscreen. Now, the good thing about using a tinted sunscreen is that um, you don't really need, well, at least for me, I don't do a foundation, I don't do really a concealer, I just set it up with, well, maybe a concealer if it's really bad. Like this little hunker here, then I have another one here, but, oh well. Because this sunscreen is kind of like um, kind of like a foundation sunscreen. I really don't need to let it set out too much. It sets up pretty quickly. The only thing is this is a little heavy. So you, in my opinion, or for me, I should say, I don't, um, I do not, um, what do you say? I don't put a double, you know, like when you are trying to get um, coverage and you put, it, you put your foundation on, more than one time but uh, with this one I wouldn't do that because it, it tends to be too heavy for me it starts to look bad so I'm just gonna let it sit for just a second I like on my hands because I don't like the feel of it plus I would get all over my stuff and then I'm just gonna set it up with um, I'm gonna use the Kosas in cloud set in airy I'm just gonna use the e.l.f. highlighter brush. I'm just gonna swirl it in there. You can see the dust and just um, then swirl it in the lid just to kind of even up the um, product. And I'm just gonna start with my under eye. And then the top of my eye because this is gonna act like my primer. And then go down my nose. I mean, can you see the difference? My forehead. I, I actually like to set it everywhere. <laughs> Glowy look is not for me. I just don't like it. I First of all, I don't like the feel of it. I don't like how it just it feels heavy and it feels sticky. And every little hair that just moves across my face, it just sticks in there. <laughs> And not just the hair, but pretty much everything. And I just don't like it. And to me, it to me it looks oily. And I have oily T-zone. And so <laughs> that's not a good combination. Now for some out there, I know that the dewy glue is, the dewy look is, is a go. But for me, I cannot do it. 
So I just rather set my whole face. Now in this powder, it's really not um, drying. It sets your makeup on, but it's not drying. So that helps. And then light dust will do it all. I'm just gonna make sure that my eyes are set really well because I don't want um, I don't want my eyeshadow to set in there or not be able to move because it is too um, sticky. I feel like a hair in there. I don't have a dog anymore, so I don't know why. Now I just wanna um, put some color in and kind of give my face dimension. So I'm just gonna make it quick. The spring is just all about fresh and all about clean and all about like that um, nice, not too accentuated, not summer yet, you don't have a full bronze on. So I'm just gonna go very lightly and then just on the sides of my face, kind of in a three motion, I'm gonna use this palette. They have a bronzer and a contour, but I'm just gonna mix both of them because one of them is a little warm and the other one is a little colder and I just want a mix of both. And I'm just gonna go start on my forehead because I wanna shrink it down a bit. And I'm using these Elf Flawless Face Brush. And all I want to do is just bring some dimension, like I said, in my face. And just, uh, I'm gonna dip some more. I'm gonna go in a three motion, just as if the sun was out and I just got some, you know, color, some encounter with the sun. And that's it for that. I'm gonna go in and um, use this found uh, baked illuminating blush. It's got the, um, it's, a, it's a baked product. So it's gonna be really nice and smoothing on the face. Uh, it's in Pink Glow. It's more of a natural brand. Actually, you can find it at Walmart. I'm gonna take these um, BK uh, and Hot and Flashy uh, brush and I'm just gonna tap it in there have the excess off and just uh, go like where your eye kind of um, starts and kind of bring it back up. Now this color, because it's a nice pink and it's, it's you can see it's really vibrant, um, it's just gonna make your look look even more fresh, kind of like what we're trying to achieve here. And don't be afraid to pull it off. Now the placement of your blush is important when you bring it up, when you start it like around here and then you bring it up, it um, it lifts up the features of your face and it looks like you had a facelift without having a facelift. And then I like to bring it up a bit just so it doesn't look like it just stops there. So it looks like it's a whole thing. It's really not much that I'm bringing up, but it's enough to make a nice difference. Now, if you got in there too much, just do that. Or just take your brush, the powder brush, and just uh, swipe up a bit, kind of take the product off. It's really easy to fix. Let's do eyes. Now for the eyes, you want something fresh, you want something light, you want something um, like it's there, but it's not. So we wanna definitely define the eye, but we don't wanna do too much color. So I'm gonna go into my crease with um, a mix of these both, Oops. A mix of these two um, with a crease brush. And this is from Angie and Vicky Beauty, the uh, five, A502. So I'm just gonna go in both, tap off the excess and bring it up to your crease, on top of your crease. And I really do not want a lot. I really do not want a lot. So if I see that I have a lot, then I'm just gonna take it off. I think that's good. Take some more, see the difference? If you do not have a crease, you can just create it. That's the fun part about makeup is that you're not trying to be someone else, but it's so nice to be able to enhance what you have and make it how you like it. Now, it's already settling in my eyes. Only hooded eyes girls would understand this. 
like no matter how much you said it's still <laughs> it still creases my eyes up here okay and then the next step would be to add a shimmery shade and i'm gonna add this um strobe shade from kosas it's just a liquid um, eyeshadow and this one sets really quickly so i'm gonna use my finger to blend it out if you do not have this if you don't have any of this just use what you have of course um use a light shimmery shade this is just gonna bring so much brightness to your eye and just make you look so um alive and soft and i'm just bringing it up and down in my mobile lid making sure i get all of the parts I'm gonna put a little more right in the middle because I want that one to be the most highlighted with the lightest part. It's gonna catch the light really nicely. I'm gonna stop right there and then I'm just gonna bring it in my inner corner. Again, use my finger. I'm going to do the same thing here, just apply it on the lid. And just move it until it sets. It sets pretty quickly, actually. It looks like this one is more than this one. I have to add some more here. Make sure you keep it in the mobile eye only and not up in your crease. If it does get in your crease, just go ahead and um, wipe it off real quickly <laughs> before it sets. I'm gonna bring it in my inner corner as well, my tear duct. Because I want this part to be really light. Work with it until you're satisfied. I know that we're all different and we all like different things, so just make it how you like it. Really. And I think that this is good. Good. Maybe a tiny bit in the middle. Does it feel like I have more on that side? Feels like I have more on that side. Is it just me? Okay, let's stop playing. I'm just gonna go ahead and let that dry for just a second more and I'm gonna take my um, pencil from Alima Pure. It's in chocolate. No, it's in coffee. And it's a nice um, matte brown. And all I wanna do is just apply it, but very fine. I'm just gonna apply it on the lower lash line, right at the base of it, just um, like three quarters in. And I'm just gonna take my finger and just smudge it in because I don't want a big, line i don't want i don't even want a thick smudged line all i want is just a little bit of shade just a little bit of like a shadow there just to define the eye i think that's good if you think it's too much wipe it off if not put some more and now the top is definitely dry this is dries really quickly so i'm just gonna bring you in a bit and just go on top of the light lash line just at the bottom of the lashes you just want to wiggle it in there just enough to create a lash line a line on your lash line <gasps> just until you get to the middle. And stop when you get to the corner of your eye. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. 
Now make sure your pencil is really sharpened so that you can create a thin line and not go in with too much. And now that that's done, I'm just gonna smudge it with my finger. If you'd rather have a brush, go ahead and use a brush, but it's really easy and fast with your finger and you have control as well. It's just gonna define the eye, but still letting it be soft and not too much. Now, just what we're left with is mascara. I'm gonna try these new um, Kosas, matching, we're matching. Uh, Kosas, the Big Clean Mascara. It's black, I haven't tried it yet, so I'm trying it together. Let's see how that looks. It's curved. Hmm, interesting. Starting at the base of my lashes, I'm just gonna wiggle it and then pull it through. Seems like a very dry um, consistency mascara. I don't know if I like it. I'm pointing my face down because that helps me separate the lashes from the skin. Gonna get a cleaner application because I always make a mess. One of these days, I will not, <laughs> maybe. I don't know, they're a little clumpy. I'm gonna let it dry and then just go back in and kind of comb the excess off. I'm gonna do the same thing here. It really is dry. And I made a mess. As per usual. Hmm. I don't know if I like it. It's really dry. Okay, let's go in, maybe. Oops. Okay, let's go in and kind of try to separate the lashes. I'm gonna go in with um, this cleaned wand that I had from a previous mascara that I used. It was from Big Papa, when mild. I just, cause it's so, um, harsh, I guess. It really gets in there. Have you ever had like lashes that are trying to come out, but they're not and they're just hanging there, but they're longer than the rest and you know they're gonna come off. And you have to keep cleaning the mascara off of them because they just stick out so much. <gasps> oh, I get that all the time. Kind of like that one there. See, much nicer and softer this one since I took off the excess. I don't know. You tell me what you think. It's like I'm trying too hard and I have a lot of flaking. Ooh, yeah. It's just too dry of a formula. But it's good to know. Ugh. Okay, I'm just gonna take my brush that I set up my um, sunscreen with and just kind of clean up because it's just so much. I don't know if you can see on this eye. There is so much flaking from the mascara for me trying to clean it up. I'm just gonna take the Q-tip if I can find it. Yep. And just clean up that smudge that I did over there. Now, one more thing that I like to do to open up the eye even more, 
looks really dark. <laughs> looks really dark underneath, doesn't it? I think I need to wipe some more off. I need to wipe some off. I am not looking for that. Looking for something softer. So this um, Q-tip. It's my savior today. Much better. Now I'm gonna take these Pacifica um, in bear. It's the uh, nude eyeliner, and I'm just gonna put it on the um, waterline, on the bottom part of the waterline, on the bottom line. That. And I'm holding it this way because I already put my mascara on. And I should have put this on earlier, but now if I hold it straight, it'll just make a mess. It will bleed into the um, mascara and then clean up. And you stop where you are comfortable with. You want to use something light in there to kind of make your eyes look bigger and pop. You know, the contrast between the lightness from the inside and the darkness from the outside, the rim that we did, it's just nice. Okay, and now the only thing that's left is lips. Spring to me, summer to me is all about nice shiny lip, about something uh, that makes your lips look juicy. And I'm gonna use this um, Gleam from Fit Glow Beauty. The reason I like the Fit Glow Beauty ones, um, their lip glosses, is because they're so good for your lips. And my lips are dry, and I just like to keep them moisturized this way. And I also don't need to use, I don't need to use a mirror, though I'm looking at it now. But I don't need to use a mirror when I'm out and about, and I just put it on, and I know that my lips are right. They're not um, like smudged all over. Now, if you use a lip line, go ahead and use it. I don't really use a lip line. Uh, my lips are quite thin, so um, I do this because it helps them look a little fuller. And that's it, guys. This is it. Stick you back. <laughs> this is it for the spring. I really think it turned out good. I really like it. I like a classic, but also a very soft look. Um, if this is for you, that's awesome. If it isn't, try it. Try it and see how you like it. I mean, you'll be surprised, right? We always are surprised by things that we don't think we don't like, we like, and then, then we like, or opposite, we think we may like, and then we don't like. So you don't, um, you don't lose nothing by trying. <laughs> but let me know if you liked this. Let me know if you're trying it out. And um, up until I see you next time, enjoy the sun. It's just... It's wonderful. The sun is beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to write a poem for the sun, okay? All right. Thanks again for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Bye. Wait, wait. I forgot about eyebrows. How did I forget that? Okay, let's do eyebrows because I don't feel complete without the eyebrows. I'm just going to go ahead and comb them up just so I can see what I'm working with. Uh, and I'm gonna use these drawing eyebrows from Etude House. It's got a spoolie, and then it's also got the uh, mechanical pencil. And it really lasts a long time. I'm just gonna fill in whatever I need to fill in. And then I'm, I wanna brush it up and out to kind of let that product um, get in little crevices that it needs to. And I'm gonna go on the other side and do the same. And comb it through. Now, if you have a lot of sparse um, hairs, you might wanna like comb it up and then just do the bottom then you comb it down and you do the top. That'll give you more of a, an accurate uh, way of filling up. If you're not too precise about it, just fill it in how, how you like it. A 
And when you're doing it this way, you can actually see better what you need to fill in. And make sure you check with the other so you don't have a darker one and a lighter one. <laughs> I've done that so many times. Okay. And now I want to set them up so that it can stay in place. And I'm going to use this uh, Kosas Air Brow. It's just a clear gel. It's in clear, I should say, because they have, oh, they have them um, in different colors as well. It's just a little brush here, just enough to um, set the eyebrows in place. It's not a crunchy set by all means, by no means. <laughs> It's just enough to hold them up because um, otherwise they might go down. So, yeah, and then they don't look right anymore. I'm going to do the same one in here. The, the second one. The other one. <laughs> All right. And then that is it. Now that's it. I think now we're done. <laughs> Unless I look in the mirror and then I see something else, as per usual. Uh, but I think that this is it, I think. If not, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, anyways, guys, I enjoy doing this with you. I love makeup and I love enhancing what, um, what I need to enhance. I love having fun with makeup. I love sharing my love for makeup with you guys. And I love um, teaching you or showing you that makeup is fun and it does not have to be intimidating and it does not have to be a hard thing or rocket science. I know there's people out there that are not comfortable with makeup. Take it slow, take it easy, start with little, build your color up, and then just you'll get to a place where you're gonna be exactly how you wanna be, you're gonna do exactly what you like, and that's that's my goal, that's my goal. I want to get to there and I want you to be um, comfortable, confident, and happy with your makeup. All right, guys, up until next time, take care. Bye. <laughs> you know I don't like this, I don't know why I'm making it. I like this. Promise me no promises. Promise me no promises. Okay, okay, that's a little too much.